Peggy 16. I got an email from uh, an American producer for Namco Bandai, and he asked if I'd be interested in helping, um, basically as a story consultant, uh, coming up with a story on a new game. I didn't know what the game was, and he wouldn't say. He called me, I called him. We started talking. We started talking a lot about uh, game philosophy, kind of became friends, kind of bonded a little bit, but he still wouldn't tell me what the game was. I'm like, ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Finally, I said, all right. If you want me interested, what is the game? He said Ace Combat. I said, shit, you should have told me that right in the beginning. I'm in. We spent a lot of time talking about how games tell stories. And one of the things that we emphasize is that everything that you do in a game, whether it's you know working a controller, hitting a button, um, as well as reading or reading what's on the screen or listening to what's happening, that that is all involved in the narrative. That is all telling a story. Hey Colonel, you awake? You got a scramble? <sighs> yeah, coming. Probably the most obvious difference between Assault Horizon and the earlier versions of Ace Combat is that we are now playing in a realistic universe. Everything that happens in the game is something that could happen in the real world. You start in Africa, and basically what's happened is the Americans are joining other countries, and you're working with uh, pilots from France, from Russia, and from some other NATO and Western uh, countries. As the story goes on, we find out that the rebels are getting support from some other group. The outside group is developing a weapon. The fight then moves to the Middle East and to Dubai. And we then, without giving too much of the story away, shift a lot of the action to Russia. What we wanted to do here was come up with a plot that uh, would take us to a lot of different territories, put us in a lot of ge different geographical uh, situations. For instance, there's at one point you are flying through Dubai and um, you get to fly air combat through the buildings, which was one of the goals in coming up with the game. I did actually want to blow up my house, but um, the team thought that would be a little bit too much. You have several characters that you can play as in the game. Probably the most important will be Colonel Bishop. Early on in the process, I actually watched um, a movie uh, with Bruce Willis. I'm not sure that a lot of people will, will have watched uh, Tears of the Sun, but it's a fantastic movie. And I saw Bruce Willis's character and I said, shit, man, that has got to be the main character of this story. Once I had that character, once I knew that kind of stoic hero, the guy that is at the top of his game, I understood what could happen in the story, and I kind of took that and went from there. We have additional information about some of the key people involved in the coup. The airman leading the coup air force is the same one we encountered in Africa. Very early on in the game, Colonel Bishop and the player will realize that even though all of his life and all of his career, he has been the best. Suddenly he's confronted with the reality that maybe he's not the best. Later on in the game, he and the player are going to have to make a choice. Do I accomplish my mission and prove that I'm the best, or do I save my friend? Because I, I know what I would do, and yet that may or may not be uh, what most players will do. Everything that you see will be absolutely as realistic as we can possibly make it in the game. So that, again, it's another core value of the Ace Combat series has been realistic aircraft. Well, now it's a realistic political situation, realistic geography, and realistic people.